Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In this video you will be shown how to create a bootable Linux Mint USB drive. What to do is download an ISO image of Linux Mint. To do this open a web browser and type Linux Mint into Google. Click on the download link within Google. You will be taken to the Linux Mint download page. There are multiple versions of Linux Mint available but for this tutorial we will be using the one with the Cinnamon desktop environment. After clicking the download link for the Cinnamon version of Linux Mint, scroll down and look for the location that is closest to you. Click on one of the links to begin the download process. The Linux Mint ISO will be stored in your downloads folder. We now need to install the ISO to a USB drive. To do this, we use a piece of software called Belina Etcher. Type Belina Etcher or Etcher.io into your browser's address bar. Click the download link. When the file has downloaded, Click on the executable. When the license agreement window appears, click I agree. Etcher will now be installed on your computer and should start automatically. If Etcher doesn't start automatically, double click on the Belina icon on the desktop. Insert your USB drive into the mini computer. Within Belina Etcher, click on the flash from file button. Navigate to your downloads folder and click on the Linux Mint ISO. Click on the select target button. Place a check in the box next to your USB drive. Take care when choosing the drive, make sure you don't accidentally choose the drive which has Windows on it. Click the select button. Click the flash button. Linux Mint will now be copied onto the USB drive. There are two stages to the installation. The first flashes the image to the USB drive, the second verifies that it has flashed correctly. This can take around 15 to 20 minutes. After the USB drive has been created, reboot your computer and press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. Select your USB drive and click enter. Another menu appears with boot options. Choose the first option to start a live copy of Linux Mint. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video please remember to subscribe for more content and give a thumbs up.